Welcome to Double A Running. In today's video, I want to show you four uh, examples of a mile indicator or prediction workout. And so, what is it? So, first things first. What is an indicator or a prediction workout? What I mean by that is these are workouts that you can run that are going to give you a pretty accurate prediction of what you could run in an all-out mile. Now, the most accurate workout would obviously be to just run an all-out mile in a race, but um, that's going to take a lot out of you. That's going to take a lot out of you, and that's really hard to do alone. So if you want to just, if you're, if you can't find a race near you and you, you just want to do a workout that'll give you a good prediction, and also these are workouts that are going to help you run a better mile. They're not, they're, they're, they're good workouts that are going to improve your fitness. Um, these are some examples. So example number one, you could do an all-out 1200 meter time trial. And so, running an all-out 1200 three laps um, alone, you know, by yourself in practice, that's gonna be about the same pace you could run all-out in a race with good competition and all your adrenaline is pumping through you. So if you can make it around, if you can make it around the track, uh, it, you know, three times, by yourself in practice, then in a race you should be able to hold the same. You should be able to hold the same pace for four laps. Okay. Workout number two. Three times 800 meters with a five-minute rest. So a lot of rest, but you're doing three times 800 at you know as fast as fast as you can run it, and whatever pace you can hold for those three 800s. That's gonna be about your your mile pace again. Now that's a really tough workout because you know two it it's not so easy to run 800 at mile pace and you got to do it three times so you end up running a mile and a half total. Uh, but it's a really good indicator of what kind of mile shape you're in. Also, it really helps if you're struggling with the middle laps of your race, right? Because it forces you to run past that 400 meter mark all the way around. Uh, a second time. Workout number three, five times 600 meters with five, uh, with five minute rest. Now you could actually do even just four 600s and that'll probably give you a reasonable prediction, but five times 600s would give you, um, you know, a really good prediction. And that's again, a very tough workout because you're doing 3000 meters total of, uh, you know, running at mile pace. So very tough. So that's why you need that five minute rest. Um, and again, a good workout if you are struggling with laps two and laps three, lap, lap two and lap three of the mile. So five, six hundreds. And then the last workout is the workout that I'm gonna do today, actually. Now, this is a classic. This is the workout that Roger Bannister used to do, you know, <laughs> all the time. Like he was famous for this workout. And this workout is 10 times 400 meters with two minutes recovery. Now, I wasn't able to get, I, I looked into this and I really couldn't find information on whether Bannister did a stand in rest or a jogging recovery. Comment down below if you know. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a, a jogging recovery. So maybe that'll make the workout a little bit tougher, give me a little bit better prediction. Uh, but 10 times 400, two minutes rest. Now this one is gonna be, this one you this one is not as tough as the 600s or the 800s, especially if you're doing two minutes rest. Um, so this might not give, this might give me a little bit of an overestimate of my mile ability, but, that, but that's okay, that's okay. Anyway, I gotta go warm up. I hope you enjoy the workout. All right, one more thing. So this work, these workouts, you really gotta consider them to be just as much of a stress as a all-out race. 
right? Because you're trying to figure out what your all out, you know, raceability is. So you really got to make sure that you've done some workouts to prepare for these. You don't just, you don't just jump into these and you want to make sure you're, you know, very well warmed up for them before, before you, before you do them. All right. Enjoy the workout. back everyone so workouts done workout went pretty well um, I'll put the splits on the screen for you now um, so I, I ended up averaging 78.7 so that's uh, a 516.6 for the full mile and it's gonna be interesting because um, I'm racing a mile in six days so I'll be racing a mile on the track with competition uh, in six days and we'll see how good this prediction actually is you know, I was hoping to run a little bit faster for this workout, but uh, you know, I think it's I think it's okay. I think it's about you know in line with what my fitness should be at this point. So, comment down below if you've ever run any of these uh, four mile prediction workouts that I I, uh, I gave you today. How, uh, let us know in the comments how accurate were these mile prediction workouts for you. And also comment down below if you have a favorite workout that you, you use to figure out what shape you're in. Okay, so that could be for the mile or the, for the 5K, for the marathon. Uh, just let, let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Run Energized.